vocabulary. Transport. 2. A find 14 types of transport in the word snake. Ship. Motorbike. Tram. Moped. Aeroplane. Lorry. Speedboat. Helicopter. Coach. Ferry. Hot air balloon. Underground. Minibus. I complete the word web with the types of transport in exercise 1a. Transport. Water. Four wheels or more. One taxi. Two lorry. Three coach. Four a minibus. Air. Five aeroplane. Six helicopter. Seven hot air balloon. Water. Eight ship. Nine speeds boat. Ten ferry. Two wheels. Eleven motorbike. Twelve moped. Public transport. City. Thirteen tram. Fourteen underground. C. What types of transport are the people talking about? 1. I always call one to get home at night. Taxi. 2. I'll use it every morning to get to work. The roads are full of cars. So it's the quickest way to travel. Underground. 3. It's my dream to travel in one of these. To feel the wind in my face and look down at the world below. Hot air balloon. 4. We enjoy touring foreign cities in them. They are perfect for groups of 30 or 40 people. Coach. 5. I drive it for 12 hours a day. It's my job. I transport products for food companies across the country. Lorry. 6. I can take you to your house. It's big enough for two people and I have two helmets. Motorbike. Moped. 7. It's the fastest way to travel on water. I use mine for water skiing. Speedboat. 8. In the past, Everyone used these to visit other continents. It took three weeks to get to the USA. Now this type of travel is only for rich people. Ship. Grammar. Past simple and past continuous. Match the sentence halves. One the last time they spoke to Marina. G. She was working in a bar. To the teacher explained the exercise to us, but. F. We weren't listening. 3. Were there any calls for me? C. While I was shopping. 4. It started to rain. A. While we were playing football. 5. My mobile phone rang while. D. I was cooking. 6. I fell asleep while I. H. Was watching TV. 7. Were you doing something important? B. When I phoned you. 8. I didn't go out last night. E. Because I was studying. 3. Complete the conversations with the past simple or past continuous form of the verbs in brackets. Conversation 1. A. I came to see you yesterday, but you weren't at home. What were you doing? B. I was here, but I was playing with my son in the garden, so I didn't hear the doorbell. Conversation 2. A. I heard you broke your leg. How did it happen? 
B. It happened when I was climbing a mountain two weeks ago. I fell and I landed badly. Conversation 3. Uh, Wendy told me you saw Jim last week. B. Yes. I was studying in the library and he said, hello. Conversation 4. A. I hear you crashed the car again. Were you driving? You drive too fast. B. No. It wasn't my fault. I was going at 30 miles an hour when this other car suddenly came out of a side street. Conversation 5. A. I saw you on your bicycle yesterday. Where were you going? B. I was going to the shops, but I dropped my wallet on the way. 4. A. Match the phrases in the box with the pictures. Drop his ticket. Try to sleep. Decide to use his mobile phone. Go for a walk. Go through security. Pay the taxi driver. 1. Drop his ticket. 2. Pay the taxi driver. Go through security. 4. Go for a walk. 5. Try to sleep. 6. Decide to use his mobile phone. B. Complete the story with the past simple or past continuous form of the phrases in exercise 4a. This is the story of Tim Boba's first trip in an aeroplane. He was very excited, but as he was going out of the house, he dropped his ticket on the floor. He took a taxi to the airport, but while he was paying the taxi driver someone took his bag. Luckily, there was nothing important. In the bag, he checked in, but while he was going through security, he found some keys in his pocket. Soon he was on the aeroplane. When it was taking off, he went for a walk around the plane. The flight attendant told him to sit down immediately. Then soon after this he noticed that everyone seemed unhappy. So he started singing. Unfortunately, the other passengers were trying to sleep and they told him to be quiet. A few hours later, he made one more mistake. While the plane was landing, he decided to use his mobile phone. Unit 5. Travel. Recording 1. 1. We were open. We were opening the shop. 2. I was fine. I was finding it difficult. 3. They were right. They were writing a book. 4. It was you. It was using too much gas. 5. She was clean. She was cleaning the house. 6. Where were you? Where were you going? Unit 5. Recording 2. A 21-year-old German tourist called Toby Good wanted to visit his girlfriend in Sydney, Australia. Unfortunately, 
He typed the wrong destination on a travel website. He landed near Sydney, Montana, in the United States, 13,000 kilometers away. This is his story. Toby left Germany for a four-week holiday. He was wearing a t-shirt and shorts, perfect clothes for the Australian summer. But the plane didn't land in Australia. It landed in freezing cold Montana in the United States. He had to take a connecting flight, but when he looked at the plane to Sydney, he became confused. Strangely, it was very small. And then he realized his mistake. Sydney, Montana was an oil town of about 5,000 people. It was also in the United States, not Australia. Toby then spent three days waiting in the airport. He had only a thin jacket in the middle of winter and no money. A few friendly people helped him with food and drink until eventually his parents and friends from Germany sent him some money. He bought a ticket to Australia, where finally he saw his girlfriend. Unit 5. Recording 2. A 21-year-old German tourist called Toby Gutt wanted to visit his girlfriend in Sydney, Australia. Unfortunately, he typed the wrong destination on a travel website. He landed near Sydney, Montana, in the United States, 13,000 kilometers away. This is his story. Toby left Germany for a four-week holiday. He was wearing a t-shirt and shorts, perfect clothes for the Australian summer. But the plane didn't land in Australia. It landed in freezing cold Montana in the United States. He had to take a connecting flight, but when he looked at the plane to Sydney, he became confused. Strangely, it was very small. And then he realized his mistake. Sydney, Montana was an oil town of about 5,000 people. It was also in the United States, not Australia. Toby then spent three days waiting in the airport. He had only a thin jacket in the middle of winter and no money. A few friendly people helped him with food and drink until eventually his parents and friends from Germany sent him some money. He bought a ticket to Australia where finally he saw his girlfriend. Unit 5 Recording 3 1 A 21-year-old German tourist called Toby Good wanted to visit his girlfriend in Sydney, Australia. Unfortunately, he typed the wrong destination on a travel website. 2 When he looked at the plane to Sydney, he became confused. Strangely, it was very small. 3. A few friendly people helped him with food and drink until eventually his parents and friends from Germany sent him some money.